Lady Har <coughs> I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind, and, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. You said there were pieces dating back to Tevinter. Yes. While it's rare to see Tevinter ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. They might have built it as a, a ritual site. I'm not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. You lost me at buckling. You'd think that a buckle was a buckle. But ever since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly to Vinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Olesian Empire. And when it comes to historical research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> what do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp. But the Avar won't say much about it. What makes you think the last Inquisitor was fighting? There's a clasp here common to armor links. It's clearly torn. That only happens from a heavy shearing blow, like large claws or an axe. Then there's the dagger. Silverite, with a stylized dragon pommel and an inscription reading Cordillus. That dagger had to be a gift from Cordillus Draco. First Emperor of Orlais. No one would just <laughs> lose such a thing. What can you tell me about the Avar fishing camp? Not much. It's the friendly Avar, not these jaws of Hakon barbarians. According to the scouts, they wouldn't say much about the area. Likely a local superstition. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure to the north. I'm not certain it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her. for the new camps tree houses it all sounds awful and precarious i thought we could catch up anytime inquisitor we'll continue this another time be careful out there inquisitor don't you like the idea of tree houses it's a good idea in theory up where the wild animals can't get us but having solid ground so far far below me with nothing but air in between us is just... I absolutely agree. It's unnatural. I'll take my chances with the Gurgots and the Bog Fishers and stay right here. I should go. Safe travels.